Come on now, Professor. We know you're in there. Our boss needs that book of yours, and he needs it now. Hey, boss, I think they dozed off in there. How about you be a nice gentleman and give them the old wakey-wakey, yeah? <laughs> My pleasure. They're gone! The boss ain't gonna like this one bit. Gone! I took to him an hour ago, and he swore they weren't going anywhere. Sir, don't worry. I think we got our lead. Well, go on. What is it? It's a knot, sir. Someone's drawn a cycle around the words gas and charter. Gas and charter? What do I care about gas and charter? Just find out who has my book! Owen oh, Bozzi. Kill them. Keto, what happened to the power? Oh man, Buana, we've been owned. Check this note out. Due to the failure of the customer's part to pay the fee of electrical coverage, Armando Power Co. has hereby terminated the contract with this facility. Power will resume once the sum of four thousand dollars is submitted to your Armando Power Co. account. Man, we're screwed now! Oh man! How are we ever gonna repair them when our pumps are down? Yeah, selling gas is going to be a whole lot trickier without gas. Yeah, you said it, man. We haven't got a choice, have we? Nope. Let's take this into our own hands. I've always wanted to tear one of these open and meddle with its insides. The warning tape makes it look like a huge Christmas gift too. We'll have our power back and customers coming here in no time. Hey, <laughs> Buona, give me a hand with this. Oh, intriguing. Open the hatch, man. Or are you afraid? I'm afraid of no hatch. I can't move it. It's like... Hmm, I'm guessing these are the thingies that hold the hatch in place. Okay, let's open it up. Hey, it's a switch. I bet it's connected to all sorts of dangerous things. Let's mess with it, man. You sure this is a good idea, man? <laughs> nope. Me neither. Let's do it. You read my mind, man. Here goes. Uh... What was that sound?
Ups. That's more like it. Good job, man. Thanks, man. Let's go, Mandy Pumps. Welcome to Buenos Gas and Chata, ma'am. Hi, I... Just a moment while I get the pump going. No, that's all right. I'm not here for... Hey, wait a minute, lady. Where's your boat? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not here for gas. I took a taxi. My name is Lena. I come from the university. I'm looking for a very special old book. A book? <laughs> Listen, lady. This is a gas station. We don't sell no books. Actually... For you, lady, we just started selling them. What you talking about, Buana? We ain't got no books. Sure we do. Remember Count Andoro's old laugh? It's full of old books. They don't do us any good up there. You got a point, man. Anything to clear that debt. Great. Where can I find them? Right this way, lady. Oh, man. I knew I had forgotten something. What? What's wrong? We used the ladder steps as firewood the other day. For some reason, at the time, it felt like a smart thing to do. Now, I wonder. Looks like we're gonna have to find some new steps for the ladder. You stay put while I figure something out. Okay, I'll wait right here, Mr. Buona. I can look at pictures later. We gotta fix the ladder now. I found breadsticks! I love breadsticks! Holy mother of monkeys! These breadsticks are stale! This might be dumb enough to work! Man! They fit perfectly! Let's hope they don't snap when we climb them. After you, lady. Man, I haven't been here since I was a little kid. It's just the way I remember it. The only thing missing is that fool of a father of mine, Count and Dodo. Missing? Where'd he go? We've no idea. He just disappeared one day when we were kids, and we ain't heard from him ever since. But we've done just fine without him here. Aside from some slight... financial instability, we've done fine. You find what you're looking for, lady? I wanna get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, sorry. No, I can't seem to find the book I'm looking for. Could you help me find it, perhaps? It's supposed to be leather-bound and have a big swirly symbol on its front. Sure, no problem. I bet it's in this mess somewhere. I remember lying in this bed having stories read to us. We had some good times before he dumped us here on our own, that's for sure. I don't remember the bed being so darn stiff, though. Wait a minute, there's something... Hey, lady! I think I might have found your book. You found it? Amazing! What's so special about this whole thing? It's the journal of the journey down. The what? It's a collection of scribbles and notes on how to reach the Underland. The Underland? Isn't that sort of illegal? Yes, so much as touching the Underland literature is illegal. I spend all my time looking for it. You spend all your time looking for illegal literature? What for? Aren't you afraid of getting caught? Oh, they haven't caught me so far. Well, who's after you? You know of the Armando Company, I take it? Sure, everybody knows of them. 
We recently became customers. You together with the rest of Saint Armando, I have reason to believe there's something fishy going on in the city. And someone is covering it all up. And somehow, I'm certain this book is the key to understanding the whole puzzle. I need to call the university immediately to confirm this find. Here you go, lady. I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, man! I bet the switchboard reset itself when we lost the power. Give me a second, I'll have it fixed. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. I can't move it. that's in here is a bunch of boring letters from the power company. I quote, Dear customer, your power provider Johnson Electric has been purchased by Armando Electric who hereby takes over your current power plan and contract. Contrary to your previous power supplier, we demand payment to be made regularly and on time. Those cold-hearted bastards! Johnson Electric always cut us slack when times were rough. Power to your facility will be cut within a month unless your balance with us is zeroed. I was kind of hoping they were just bluffing, so I sort of forgot about all these letters. Oops. It's a patent of a father, Captain Kaun and Odo. He adopted me and Kito off the streets when we were scumbag kids. We miss you, man. Where did you go? It's my favorite mug. It's got a dried out slice of lemon stuck at the bottom of it. Nice. But it's not something I feel like carrying around for no good reason. It's a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind the suspiciously low price. Cow Nandodo's gas and charter covers all of your fuel and transport needs. No questions asked. Call 99450 and we'll make an offer you might not refuse. Hey, that's the number right there. 99450. I knew painting these folders would pay off. Hello, Professor. This is Lena. Calm down. Calm down. What's happened? Good God. Did they steal anything? No, that's all right now that we have the book. Don't worry. I know just the place to hide. This plane of yours, does it fly? Of course, lady. She's as good as new. Wanna air at your service. Great. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Here she is. A precious airplane. Come on in and check out the insides. What do you think, lady? A beauty, isn't she? Yes, yes. It's very uh, charming. But can you get her airborne? Airborne? 
Are you crazy, lady? This plane hasn't flown for decades. One moment, please. You got to help me out here. We need this money so bad and you know it. One flight and our debt to the power company will be long gone. You think you can get her running? I have no idea. Do you still think you can fly her? Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, Buana. Let's give it a shot. That's the spirit. Of course we can get her airborne. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. Just give us a couple minutes to do some tiny touch-ups and then we'll be on our way. A couple of minutes? Tiny touch-ups? Yeah, what's the big deal, man? What are we missing? Well, for starters, we have no engines. Oh. And we're missing a propeller too. Also, we're gonna need something to steer with. No worries, man. You get started while I go find the missing junk, okay? Okay, mon. Good luck part hunting. A pair of engines, a propeller, and something to steer with. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. That's Saint Armando. They say that city has its own soul. It's an old bucket of white paint. I don't need that. I found free stuff. It's shaped just like a hook. It's a card terminal for the elevator to the tram stop. Without an ARA or a maintenance card, I'm not going anywhere. It's graffiti. Somebody's written, People, open your eyes. That's the Armando Railway Authority logo. That there's the MS Corolla. She's a cargo vessel. Say, are you the new deckhand? You ought to know to report in with me before boarding. That's me, man. The new deckhand. Good. Let's hear the password. Password? Hmm. Scurvy scallions. Nice try, lad. Come back when you remember, and I'll let you aboard. I can't reach it from here, man. It's shaped just That won't help. Full of salt. I'm not lugging salt around for no apparent reason. Ah! No way I'm going closer, man. That bird might bite my head off. Man, that's one scary bird. Oh, there's something sparkly shining in that nest. No way I'm going closer, man. That bird might bite my head off. Sorry, lad. Nobody's going bored except the crew. Oh, 
floor again. It's boarding. If you're a d I wanna join you. Oh, sorry, son. I know what it's like when that sail and bone goes a tingling, but it ain't that easy. Roster's full, I'm afraid. What I gotta do to get on board then? Nobody's going board except the crew. And all the crew knows the password by heart. Come on, just whisper in me ear, man. No one will notice. Nah, tis a sailor's secret and nothing for a land crab as yourself. See you later, man. Hey, may the four winds fill your sail. It says, Count and Dodo's Gas and Charter. It's named after me old man Count and Dodo. Unlike himself, the name stuck around. You salty sea dog. Key kid, you can relax with the salty sea lingo on us. We are sophisticated sailors. We sophisticated. That's what I always said. <laughs> Never mind him. He's had a few too many. So what's on your mind, kid? You didn't bother a hungry sailor in the middle of his meal without a real good reason, did you? Of course not, man. I just had a couple of questions. Shoot! What ship are you on? We're on the fine vessel, MS Corollo. Oh, she's in port over the night for repairs. Caught some bad wind on the last run. But she'll be fine again by tomorrow, and then we set sail again. Sails? Figure a speech, lad! We can set engine if you prefer it. How's the stew tonight? Oh, it's off the charts, kid. Ain't nothing like a fine stew to warm a sailor's cold bones after a long trip. Woo! It's crazy spicy, though. These chilies are killing me. Chilies? You don't like them? I love chilies. Hey, you can have them, kid. Woo! Go ahead. Thanks, man. <laughs> Be careful with those. They can knock an elephant out stone cold. What are you bound for? We'll be heading for Port Archu first thing in the morning. Tis a long, eerie voyage along the eastbound edge to get there, so the whole crew's mighty spooked about it. It's not talking <laughs> about it. What's so eerie about the edge, man? It's scary, man. <laughs> You've no idea of the spooky things that we've seen deep down in the mist. Come on, you're just spooked by old children's tales. I can tell you this much, kid. They're not all just imaginary tales. <laughs> Let's not talk about Toy of Nightmares. Tell me what you've seen down there. No way, man. I don't want to talk about it. I think you better give my companion here a break. He's been shaking crazy since our last trip. Poor man deserves some R&R &R without having to be reminded of all the scary things hiding in the depths of the mist. I thought going near the edge was illegal. Oh, commercial vessels with the right contacts and permits can coast along it. But if the powers that be catch anyone so much as glancing over the edge, it's hell to pay. Yeah, whatever's down there, you don't want to mess with it. He may be a bit on the fluff but those words are wise. 
Stay clear of the edge if you value your life, kid. I'm the new deckhand on the ship, but I forgot the password. Sorry, kid. I ain't falling for that one. You're no sailor. You ain't got the right clothes. Look at us. Proper sailor's clothes on us. Never mind, man. Not gonna disturb your soup. No worries, kid. Hey, puppy. Yikes! That's silly. Mama Makina's Diner. A shining beacon of hope for any hungry sailor. A shining beacon of bacon, I'd say. Really, man? That's a very nice compliment. I don't want to pick at it. Hey, Matoki. How you doing, man? Hi there, Buona. I got all I ever wish from life here. Good cooking and a proper fishing spot. What a beautiful evening. Not a rat in sight. Rat? Oh yes, I'm terrified of rats, lad. That's why I be resting me limbs here, you know. They just can't get to me no matter how much they skip about. That's mighty clever, man. Say, that's a nice fishing pole you got there. Yep, trusty as heck. Caught me a 12-pound mud yuggler the other day. Wow! Wow, indeed. I'm quite proud. A mud yuggler? Come on, Buana. You know it's basically the only thing we catch here in Kingsport Bay. Of course, there's tires and the odd rubber boot, but there ain't much eating on those. I wouldn't mind missing out on it anyhow. Oh, don't get too picky. Makena once served my boots to a whole crew of sailors, and they left port happy and dancing. A good chef and a fine spice can fix the foulest stew right up. Tell me more about Muddy Uglers. Sure. They're tricky buggers to pull up, but a fine treat for the tongue if tended to right. Mama Magena turns the foulest yugglers into gourmet magic. That's a crazy story, but enough about it already. Hey, you're the one who asked. I ain't never hang around our docks no more. I'm telling you, man, the rats. I can't stand those. They scare me, right? That's too bad, man. I Heck, this ain't for all. Besides, I've been around for a long time. Even the fish knew this was a bad spot. Yeah, you an old timer, man. How long have you been around King's Park Bay? Oh, long before you were born. Roughly 60 or 70 years, I think. Set me up quite the reputation here in Kingsport Bay, too. You have indeed. So you must know a lot about Kingsport Bay, then. Oh, don't get me started. I could go on forever about this place. But okay, Kingsport is one of seven bays that surrounds our gorgeous capital, St. Armando. Kingsport consists mainly of industrial cargo docks and random odd enterprises such as your charter and McKenna's Diner. I like it here since the area is so nice and calm, yet it has a great view of the city. So you must know my father well then. Oh yes, he was a fine friend till he disappeared. He loved me fish. Everybody loves your fish, Matoki. Tastiest muddy uglers in the bay. Sure are. Anyhow, I remember him well. And I do think of the captain now and then. Especially remember the flying lessons he gave you. 
boy, you were proud. Of course I was proud, man. He taught me how to pilot this plane at the age of 12. And you haven't flown the plane since, you fool. No, not since he dumped us here. I'm afraid of heights, you know. Learn to fly at the age of 12 and afraid of heights? <laughs> Don't pull me tail. So tell me about Saint Armando. Oh, the tales I could tell about Saint Armando are endless. It's an ancient city, and its heart throbs in all rhythms known to man. Hmm, actually, throbs doesn't fit as well as convulses. But you get the point. It's lively. I get it. Colorful speak in Matoki. Oh, thank you. Anyhow, all social classes and odd minorities are represented in the city in some strange form or another. So the city just oozes of soul, mind you. Some people even say the city has a soul of itself. Say, that's a nice fishing pole you got there. Yep, trusty as heck. Caught me a 12-pound mud juggler the other day. Wow! Wow, indeed. I'm quite proud. Twelve pounds? What do you do with it all? I traded it with McKenna, as always. Me and McKenna got sort of a deal going here. I supply her with the treasures of the sea, and she keeps me fed. Just stay clear of the tofu rats. They are absolutely revolting. I'll make sure to remember that. Would you let me borrow your pole for a while? No way, not for a second. Only thing ever separated me from my pole are those pesky rats. And I ain't never getting near those things again. Hey, Matoki, can I grab one of your mud jugglers? Oh, sorry, Buana. I'd love to share, but me and McKenna have this deal, you know. If she catches me handing out her jugglers for free, there's going to be hell to pay. You're gonna have to get your own. 